Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Giselle and we talk about fragrances in this channel. So if you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your loyal support. So guys, today I am with part two or the follow up of my previous video, which was how to curate a fragrance collection. And I've broken down my strategy into seven categories. And I told you guys in the video that I think that this category which is happy fragrances or fragrances that kick your energy, boost your confidence, lift your spirit. I think it is important enough that deserves a video on its own. So I am here today with eight fragrances that will boost your energy, kick your mood, lift your spirit and make you happy. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. So guys, let's get started with category number seven, which is happy fragrances or fragrances that boost your confidence or lift your spirits. I think this is the most important category because it is well known how much fragrances or smells in general affect the way we feel. And this is like a magic wand. Sometimes when you're not feeling 100%, you, you just spray a little bit of something you really love and it truly makes you feel different. It truly lifts your spirit. It truly gives you a kick of confidence. And that's why I think this is really the most important category. And that's why I am dedicating an entire video. So let's get started with fragrance number one in no particular order. This is Natsumi. This is uh, by Anayaki. I don't know if you're familiar with the brand. I already talked about this brand before. And Ayaki is a high-end skincare brand from Japan, very high-end, super high-quality ingredients. They have fragrances as well. Uh, I, I am in love with the original one, which is an Ayaki Purel, and this is it's a flanker of the original. This one represents the summer. Actually, the house uh, made it four of them, summer, fall, winter, and spring, and this is my favorite. So. Natsumi, as I said, represents the summer. The summer in Japan, it's very, very green. And, and everything in the Asian culture, but in particular in the Japanese culture is symbolic, right? So every season has something special. And here we come with the summer, Natsumi. This is a super, super beautiful fragrance. It's a floral fruity scent. It's very aquatic, it's ozonic, it's sweet. It's not cloying sweet, but it's very sweet. It has a little bit of everything. It has plum, it has peach, it has orange blossom. The plum and the peach here with the aquatic ozonic notes, let me tell you, it's heaven. Beautiful fragrance. It has um, grass notes, it has watermelon, but not watermelon like the typical cologne fragrances from the 90s that some people think they smell cheap, which I couldn't disagree more, but just to give you an idea, this is not that type of watermelon. Here, the watermelon plays um, a refresher type of role. It's not the smell, it's more like the juice. It's very, very juicy, very uplifting, very invigorating. It's a musky fragrance. It reminds me of a fresh cut grass in the morning. It reminds me of bamboo fields, for example. It has also lily, it has ilang ilang. It also has sandalwood and musk, which gives the fragrance some depth and creaminess, but it's very, very subtle. It's, it happens in the dry down. And as, as I said, it's really, really subtle. You won't really smell uh, the sandalwood, but you will get some musk. Truly uplifting fragrance. Every time I need some, you know, some kick in my energy, I always grab Natsumi. Give it a try. So in second place, we have Yin Transformation by The Harmonist. Guys, if, you, if you're not familiar with this house, you have to try it. This fragrance is absolutely stunning. It's within my, my top three in my entire collection. I adore this fragrance. This is stunning, super elegant. It's effortless chic. It's powdery, it's musky, it has iris. It has um, orchid, but it's not any orchid. Orchid is one of my favorite flowers, but this is called uh, Calypso Orchid, which is a very tiny orchid, very fragrant. It only has one flower and one leaf. It's a very special orchid. It's not very, it's not highly utilized in perfumery. I think the Harmonist 
were one of the very first in using it, if not the first in using this in perfumery. I'm not quite sure, don't quote me on that, but I've never seen Calypso Orchid in perfumery before. It's a stunning fragrance. It also has almond milk. It's not really lactonic. This is actually a very aquatic fragrance. It's not marine, it's not ozonic, so don't expect anything salty or beachy at all. This is a very calming, this is a very calming fragrance. When I smell this, it's like when you feel you don't need anything else. You are absolutely fulfilled. Your senses come down, you come down. It's totally, it's like an, un, it helps you unwind in like seconds. Very, very beautiful. Actually, the house wanted to celebrate or pay tribute to the source of life, which is water. So you can definitely expect uh, a watery fragrance, a very aquatic fragrance. And it's called Yin Transformation because this energy, this is the feminine energy that transitions also into the Yin energy. So this is a Yin. This is my absolute favorite. As I said, this is one of my top favorites in my entire collection. It's super, super elegant. I never expected to be elegant, honestly. I thought it was a nice fragrance, a musky fragrance, but with the time I came to realize it's super elegant. As I said, very effortless chic. It gives you an instant pump of energy and it's very, very long lasting, very long lasting. Absolutely stunning. Yin Transformation by The Harmonist. Now we come with Saint Martin by Nativa. This is a stunning fragrance. I've already talked about this fragrance before, but I had to include it in this list because when I spray this, it's like instant vacation mode. What a beautiful fragrance. This is like a white yellow floral combo, slightly tropical. It has hibiscus flower, which reminds me of my childhood. I had a lot of uh, hibiscus trees in my house. The hibiscus flower, it's a huge flower. It's pretty big and it has velvety petals and it has a very particular scent. It's very, very beautiful. It has jasmine, it has orange blossom. It also has mimosa. It's slightly sweet, it's very sexy as well. And it's very comforting, pretty long lasting, six hours at least. Very, very nice. I think I told you the story. I discovered this fragrance in a trip to St. Martin. And I remember that after I sprayed, I left the shop and every single person in the street that I came across with, they asked me what I was wearing. And yeah, it's a good proof that projection is really great. And also sillage is great. Give it a try. They have different, um, different fragrances, one for every, almost every island in the Caribbean. They have Aruba, they have Jamaica, they have Bahamas, they have St. Martin, they have St. Thomas. This is my favorite. St. Martin. Love it. So here I come with Inflorescence by Beirido. I love this. I think I've smelled all Beirido fragrances so far and this is my favorite. I absolutely love Inflorescence. It's a white, fresh, clean type of floral scent. It doesn't have musk and it doesn't have sandalwood. This is what makes this fragrance stand out what makes this fragrance different because usually floral fragrances are mixed with sandalwood notes and needless to say with musk most floral fragrances have musk in the composition this doesn't so it makes the fragrance very different honestly it's not creamy it's not heady but it's very it's very long lasting without being overpowering and without being overwhelming this is a totally different type of floral scent it's absolutely stunning, super clean. You can smell Byredo's DNA, like the mo you, you don't even need to spray it to smell it. You say, this is a Byredo fragrance, absolutely. It has rose, it has lily, it has magnolia, one of my favorite flowers. It's delicious. It's very elegant. It's very uplifting. This is a fragrance that I grab every time, you know, I want to feel better. Just in general, when you want to feel better, this is one of the fragrances I grab because it has that much of an impact on myself. It's beautiful. I am, I think I shared the story with you as well that the first time I tried this was in, in Vegas and it was super crowded. I sprayed on, I left and every person I came across with in that hotel 
they asked me what I was wearing, the casinos, everywhere. Like even during the next, the following four, six, eight hours, people were asking me what I was wearing. So that's proof of the great projection and sillage this had. This has a, it has a great sillage, but it's not a cloud overwhelming type of thing. It's very airy, very ethereal, but it really, really lingers. People turn heads to ask me what I am wearing. That back then and every time I wear it now. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance in Florence's by Byrido, super, super uplifting. So guys, in fifth place, I have Private Mask by Swiss Arabian. This is an Adhar oil. It's a super, super, super concentrated form of perfume. This is the most concentrated it can get. It's not diluted by any means, so you have to use just a tiny dab, a tiny drop. And conversely to what you would do with your fragrances, because you don't have to rub the fragrances because it, supposedly it breaks the top notes. Well, here you have to massage, you have to rub because otherwise it is so thick, so concentrated that it will stay too oily and greasy. So you definitely need to massage and rub the thing all the way into your skin. But this is stunning. It's one of the most addictive scents I've ever smelled. It has cotton candy, it has saffron, it has orange, it has jasmine, it has caramel. Absolutely delicious. You can use it on its own. You can use it to layer. In fact, I layer this with Baccarat Rouge. I will link my layering video here, my layering guide video here. But um, in that video, I mentioned that I use this with Baccarat Rouge because on my skin, Baccarat Rouge doesn't last. And this oil helps that fragrance last like 10, 12 times. And actually it is, it smells very, very similar to Baccarat Rouge, honestly. So this is a beauty. So this is a fragrance that every time I use it, it puts a smile on my face. I love it. It's absolutely addictive, as I said, and I can't live without this. So this is my, one of my happy fragrances, Private Mask by Swiss Arabian, super, super high quality. Here I come with Parco Palladiano Loro. In Parco Palladiano, it's the niche or reserve line by Bottega Veneta. It's called Loro and also uh, number five. The V in Roman numerals means five or fifth. In this case, it's five. And it also has the name Loro. It depends on the flanker. The new one says Loro, the, the older ones, just the Roman numeral. But yeah, it's the same fragrance. Anyway, this is a super, oh gosh, this is a beautiful unisex fragrance. It's a green, herbal, er, very aromatic, crisp type of scent. It's very unisex, as I said, has lots of herbs. It has rosemary, it has sage, it has laurel or bay leaves, but don't get discouraged. I posted this on my Instagram account saying exactly the same thing. Don't get discouraged by the herbs or even by the vetiver because it has a vetiver uh, base. It's not a masculine uh, fragrance at all. I love feminine fragrances. I can stand super, super strong masculine fragrances on my skin. And this is like, I, I, am, I am in love with this fragrance. It's super, super elegant, but super elegant. If you want to feel like 10 notches up, go wear this one. And also, it is also very, very uplifting, very invigorating. It gives me a kick of energy, makes me feel super confident when I wear this. This is a star. I think this is one of my favorites in the Parco Palladiano line. Parco Palladiano is the, the niche reserve line of Bottega Veneta. Very, very nice. It's slightly minty as well. It's very relaxing and it's an all year round type of fragrance. It is very fresh, so you might be tempted to say it's a summer fragrance. Of course, you can go wear this in the summer, but it works really well in the winter. I've been wearing this in the winter months and here it's really cold where I live and it performs amazingly well. Absolutely stunning and absolutely uplifting Parco Palladiano Loro. Here I have Pure Grace by Philosophy. This is my favorite from Philosophy. Gosh, this is a stunning, stunning fragrance. It's a floral green scent. It's very soapy. It's very fresh. It's very clean. It's very, very uplifting, very invigorating. It's ah, 
this is very very soapy closest feeling to when you get out of the shower like super clean super fresh very soapy it, it has a very nice lasting power for its considering its category now this is the eau de parfum and this is the older one they had eau de parfum eau de toilette then they discontinued the eau de parfum until recently i think in 2020 maybe i not don't quote me on that but they it seems that they relaunched the eau de parfum so i haven't tried that i don't even know if they have reformulated it or not this is the older one this has lavender it has bergamot it has lemon gosh stunning it also has a uh, rose lily of the valley it has musk it's very crystalline very pure very innocent very inoffensive this could be also a very office safe type of fragrance very relaxing totally inoffensive as i said i don't know one single person who doesn't like it not only i didn't bother people but people ask me what i am wearing it's beautiful pure grace by philosophy and this is the audio parfum now we have here wild bluebell by joe malone what a beautiful scent it's a floral green fragrance with a bell flower as the star. It's very simple. There's nothing groundbreaking here, but it's just beautiful. It's beautiful, gives me energy, makes me happy every time I wear this. It's very, very nice, very green, very musky. Yeah, it's slightly fresh, spicy as well. It's very aquatic, very aquatic. Performance is weak, I have to tell you. I want to be honest with you in all the departments. Siage is weak, projection is weak, lasting power is weak, but the juice, the scent is beautiful and that's why I have it. To me, what it is a deal breaker is the scent. I don't care how great it can perform, but if the scent is not nice or I don't like the scent, to me, it's a no-go. However, if the scent is beautiful, even if it is not a great performer, I, I am willing to compromise. And yeah, I, I love it. Wild Bluebell by Jo Malone. This is another happy, uplifting, invigorating fragrance in my collection. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my video from today. I hope it's helpful. Please remember always to grab something uplifting. Those days when you don't feel like you are at your 100% really fragrances can do wonders they don't have to be uh, expensive you can wear oils you know even diffusers in your home but wearing a fragrance when you're not feeling at your best truly helps at least it helps me this is something i've been you know sharing with my friends and with all the people that know me and they all try it and they said yes it works and you know i i haven't made that discovery either this is well known and it has a lot of research behind how strong is the influence of fragrances on the way we feel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if that is the case. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here and I see you in my next video. Stay safe and bye-bye.